Hello, thank you for watching. This is my recipe for the ultimate chop chip cookies. Into a large bowl, add 125 grams of soft light brown sugar, followed by 100 grams of caster sugar. Um, and then you can see here, this is uh, pretty much melted 150 grams of butter. Um, I now have to whisk these together um, just until they're combined really. Um, so whisk away. Um, follow this up with one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Um, you can add a little bit more if you, if you wish to have a little bit more flavour, but that's plenty for me. Um, and mix that in. And next we add one whole egg and one egg yolk. Um, and this needs to be whisked up until it's really pale and uh, sort of a bit more fluffy than it is already. So keep on going with that. The next step is to add the dry ingredients. And what I'm adding here is 300 grams of plain flour and half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. And I added that in three um, sections just so the flour didn't fling everywhere when I, when I mixed it up. I mean, it made it a little bit uh, easier to combine. If you're making your own chocolate chip cookies, you can just use milk chocolate chip if you want but I liked the combination of milk choc chip and white chocolate but that's entirely up to you how you want to do that so once this is all mixed together I scrape down the sides as well I added in about 125 grams of chopped white chocolate and then 200 grams of chocolate chips and then I mix these in sort of gently cutting through the batter um, didn't want to over mix it so just enough to get them dispersed sort of quite evenly really okay and then on a baking tray um, I made tiny um, little sort of balls of uh, the batter and rolled them up and I used wet hands to do that so it didn't stick too much um, you can make them larger if you want but I was going to use these um, or some of these for a later project so I wanted them this size so keep on going until you've used all your batter up and then place them in a preheated oven at 170 degrees celsius and these particular size ones um, they were they took about 10 minutes to bake and there we go all baked so just uh, let them sit for about five minutes um, before removing them from the parchment and then letting them cool completely. And this made a lot of, of cookies this size. Um, so you can half the batter if you didn't want as many. Um, and that's really it. And they're really lovely cookies, delicious and sort of crunchy on the outside and soft in the middle. So I hope you, you like it and give it a go. It's relatively simple. Um, and thanks ever so much for watching.